Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm a little nervous, but should be fine. It's so weird, like so many years of doing this, and I still get so shy and nervous in front of the camera. Anyway, it's fine. Cool. That's good. Okay. It's just been full of so many changes, so many transitions and, you know, um, I don't know, I think I've just always been like a restless um, child in a way and um, it all started back in school when I was, um, I basically started playing the tabla in my school assemblies when I was in, um, I don't know, 7th or 8th. After tabla, it was the guitar, and I started playing in my school band. And after that, um, it was dance music. Like that was just like another world for me. And um, and yeah, I mean, I was in Bombay trying to study, <laughs> trying to study <laughs> uh, sound engineering, and um, I couldn't really do it because I had like commerce without math and eco uh, in school. And um, out of nowhere, like physics and maths, you know, it's a part of my life again, and I could couldn't do it. But luckily, um, that time I got supported by Hardwell, who, who was like, you know, number one DJ in the world. So that like pretty much opened like a lot of doors for me, I would say. And um, I started playing a lot of shows abroad. I had my music constantly on the radio. That was the time when I started, you know, playing so many shows. I was just constantly traveling, always, you know, on the road. And um, I think I was like out for like 22 days in a month. And yeah, I mean, I wish I could transition to a singer writer much uh, before. That was like always my dad's dream as well, because he's a singer, but he couldn't really take it up uh, professionally. Right. Now we stop the recording and check. So yeah, like sometimes right now I just feel that I'm living his dreams in a way. I mean, it happened at a point of time and I'm just very happy that it, you know, finally happened and I feel truly blessed. But yeah, I think I was just so lost in that, uh, in that, in that space with, you know, constantly traveling, you know, just getting that early success, first fame or, you know, all these things started happening. My life just started changing and I somehow got like a, a little used to it. I, I, I don't think I was challenging myself as a musician that time. I was just like loving the attention I was getting, to be honest. And yeah, I'm just happy, as I said, uh, about, about the transition. I, I, I feel that I can finally express much more through my music. Um, I think just DJing and, you know, being a producer restricted me in a way. Um, but now with writing and singing, I think I can really express more, not just, you know, uh, musically in a way, but I mean, like on stage and off stage, both. I think uh, Tere Bina was definitely a dream start for me. I can't really imagine a better uh, debut than Tere Bina. 
but at, at the same time, I, I genuinely don't think, um, you know, I put that as a benchmark or whatever. I just wanted to do something, you know, different. And that's why Kya Karo was like such a different uh, song for me than uh, Tere Bina, which is like a straight up Hindi pop song. But yeah, and, and that's what I wanted to do on Genesis as well, have my own sound. And I think after Kya Karo, I started to, uh, you know, focus much more on, on my on my sound and not just the song in general. You know, when we started, we had this vision to lift up the quality of Hindi pop music and and I'm just really happy that all of us put in so much effort into that vision um, and hopefully we've been able to do that. I, I believe God's love kept me going. I genuinely believe that and I think it'll always keep me going. I think Genesis is a product of me uh, trying to find my space as an artist and um, just rediscovering myself as a human. I'm just really happy with the way all these songs have uh, come to life and I know there's been you know a lot of delays with everything but but yeah I'm just I'm just so glad that it's finally happening and um, I don't know what's next for me but I will say that I'm ready for it.